Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lufia! Since last time, I decided to walk all the way around off-screen so that I can cross the bridge to get to Aris and find Professor Shia. Let's get grab this treasure here first. Sorry I didn't make an episode for yesterday, but uh, I needed a day off after that experience. Nah, nah, I was just tired, busy, whatever. Combination of things. You know. As you can see, uh, when I did do some backtracking, I, uh, well, I fought a lot of those mimickers off screen. I, uh, well, I just met up with them, so I figured, hey, let's take them out. So, yeah, it was, uh, they get tons of experience, over 3,000 per kill. So, yeah, I really like, oh, I'm almost about to gain another level. And even after fighting all those, I'm still slightly under level, but. Eh, whatever. We'll be fine. As long as you're at least at level 25, viewers. You know why. Oh, just thank goodness we're past that bridge building sequence. It's all uphill from here. That was the low point of the game. Maybe we'll run into one of those Sinistrals. I almost said Sentinels, but that wouldn't be right. Been watching too much uh, X-Men, the animated series. The one from the 90s. Um, hmm, that didn't seem to work too well. You could just use a lightning bolt on it. That would knock the door down. What is that? Is that Spanish? I don't know. Goodfellas? Uh, I don't know. Yours. Hey, hey, all right. Well, it opened. It didn't disappear, but... Well, you take me from here. Oh, huh? yeah. Yes, dear. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's check it out. And we got more of these guys. Yeah, these guys are easy enough as it is. That is one thing about this game. It, uh, it is, and it's probably why I expected this LP to be a bit longer. Because this game does have a lot of um, filler content. Where it has a lot of random battles, a lot of exploration, and a lot of these... Side quests like this, not nearly as bad, but it has a lot of stuff that doesn't really contribute to advancing the plot. So, I mean, I love all the battles and everything, but, well, no game is perfect. I still love this game. By the way, before I'm done with this area, I'd like to thank someone from my forums for providing me a map of this area. Because you don't have a map? Oh boy, trying to get through this cave. At the time, they didn't have one on VG Maps, so I had uh, someone on my forums, who I'll name in the video description there, he provided me a map of this area before uh, someone eventually did put one up on VG Maps, so that was very nice. Thanks a lot. And a couple other areas in the future, too. Oh, I love the lightning spells and the flash ring. Okay, well that's all the treasures we can get here. Did we make it? Yes! Is that the village we're looking for? It is Aris! Alright! Toys are us? No. No, just ordinary Aris. Well, is he here or is he over there? Well, he's over there, I'll just tell you. So, and you know what? I don't even care. After the abomination that was the last dungeon, I could use a normal dungeon. But should I go over there first? Or should we do more side quests first? Yeah. Oh, really? Huh, well, maybe we ought to find a way to get over there then. Looks like we're not too far from that. Ultimate weapon in the game, ready to go. Out of curiosity, viewers, how do you feel about ultimate weapons? Like when you should be able to get them, you know? I don't know, you know, I mean, I, I would usually like to have them at the end of the game, but I don't want it to be in like the last 10 minutes of the game either. You know, I want to be able to enjoy the ultimate weapons for a little while too, you know? Like maybe the last 10 or 20% of the game, you know? I like being able to earn my ultimate weapons too, not just, you know, have them bought or handed to me on a silver platter. But anyway, here we want to get the Red Berets. It's a little upgrade for uh, Jaren and, well, the, the ladies. And I also want to equip uh, Jaren with the Flame Ring for where I'm going next. So, there we go. Yeah, Jaren, she's starting to fall behind on her levels again. Well, she's pretty much going to be for the rest of the game, but eh, whatever. Oh, 
Yeah, pretty much. We even got, well, Arteo's bow on us. She's like a machine gun with that thing. I mean, heck, with all the speed potions I've been giving her. Oh, we don't want to go up there. We want to go up here. Ah, we haven't heard this music since the beginning of the game. You can't totally hell! No, no, just kidding. Well, apparently so. It keeps Lufia off my back. You know, she's not accusing me of being j jealous of some other female shopkeeper or something. You know, it it's like they're trying to use their womanly charms to get me to buy things all the time, but that would never happen. <laughs> uh, oh, well now Jaren's the one that's jealous. Well, how do you like that? Uh, almost makes you wish you grew up here, huh? No, no, she did not grow up here. But anyway, I want to go back here to find a hidden treasure. All right, mind potion. Let's give that to Lufia. There we go. Not bad. Hey, how's it going? Huh. Well, we have magicians of our own. Huh. Well, apparently she is really skilled. She is the best magician in the game, too. I mean, with that bolt spell? Holy cow. Or, well, any of the um, uh, lightning spells that we got. Tower of Grief, huh? Oh, the Elder is over there, too, huh? I guess... They went over there together with the professor, so... Okay, well, that's where we should be heading next. But, you know, I have other things I want to do. Let's uh, head on back to Grenoble. As you can see, Adol is well over level 25. So, let's go check out the old cave again. Get a new task from the, the old man there. Or, well, the old cave shop. That's what I'm going to tell. Or, that's what I'm going to call it, anyway. So, let's see what they want us to find this time. Now, the enemies there are going to be a lot harder than what we've met up with already. If you're new to the game, you may want to wait a little while until you get some better equipment. But I know what I'm doing, so we'll be okay there. You gotta get a miracle gem. It's a real miracle. Uh, did I rest up at the end? Oh, well, Jaren, but yeah. Well, anyway, that's why I want the flame ring on Jaren for the old cave there. There's a lot of treasure on this part of the old cave that we're going to be heading to next. So, it's all kind of bunched up, but, well, there's just a lot of it. So, we'll, we'll be fine, though. Especially if you've got the flame ring on Jaren and fast forward! Are we there yet? There we go. But yeah, some of the enemies that are weak to fire have a lot of HP. So. And we got an enemy here, Fagula. Or, have I met up with them yet? Well, oops, I didn't want uh, Luffy to attack her. Well, maybe she'll still be enough with a frost spell, but yeah, if I didn't say so before, they're weak to they're weak to ice because well, it freezes their afro off, or whatever they, they got going on there. I like afros, they're kind of styling. Just like on sass. Holy crap! Okay, here's the enemies that I was told, worried about. Um, let's go with flame on the trap heart. They are weak to fire. That probably will not one-shot them, though. Axe Knights are weak to lightning, so I want to use that on him. And, uh, let's take out the Fragula first, and then we'll send every... Oh, I didn't think we could kill him that easily. Well, anyway, uh, we do want... Oh, flash. There we go. But, yeah, do you want to use fire on the trap heart? They can poison you, too, so you might want to watch out for that. I think that's all the new enemies here. Ha! Well, I guess I made it out to be harder than it actually was. Eh, I can take these guys out quickly enough. What is it? What is that thing on their back there, anyway? Are those supposed to be, like, scales? Or are they, like, a mix of a turtle and a frog or something? I don't know. Maybe I don't need to use frost on them. I don't know. They're weak to it, so I figure, why not? But fire takes precedence here, so... Let's grab this one. Oh, okay. Not another treasure. But we still want to open it anyway, because even the empty... As I said before, even the empty chests uh, contain... Uh, or they count towards your treasure rating at the end of the game. Not that you get anything out of it, but I like doing that for completeness sake. Wow! They can cast Bang? 
How do you bang me with your armor on like that? They're banging me with their axe. I think they're holding the axe backwards. Eh, whatever. Uh, you need some healing there, Aguro. If only I had a better healing spell. Like that one from the intro sequence there. Oh, well. Wow, these guys are kicking my ass. All right, we got a Gladius. We want to give that to Aguro. So let's see how good that is. Well, it's a little better. I expected it to be a lot better. Eh, whatever. I like being able to find my equipment, and... Who do I give that to? Give that one to Lufia there. But yeah, I like being able to find my equipment and get it through questing and things like that. It makes me feel more like I'm earning the equipment and such, you know? I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me, but well, that's a little better, I suppose. Tick you can get. I don't know how much every single point of defense actually makes in this game, unlike Dragon Warrior 1, but oh well. Uh, how did I get all this stuff in my inventory? Did I just, like, I guess I forgot to sell stuff. Uh, only one point. Oh well. Uh, you needed a little more, Jaren, especially since you're not going to be gaining levels, so. Okay, well, I'll just meet you back in the previous room and explore the rest of this level of the old cave. Next time on Let's Play Lufia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.